Etienne and guys, welcome you back to the channel. Um, it's been a few days since I haven't uploaded. Unfortunately, uh, for some various reasons, I uh, did not record and I didn't have anything to upload, but we're back. <coughs> so we expect uh, videos again on a daily basis on the channel. Um, one thing I wanted to share with you guys, uh, have a look. Uh, I did a video with Dridananda. You might know him as the Blissful Athlete. So it's on his channel, I'll put the link down below. We had a video, uh, we did a kind of a, I don't know, kind of a podcast together. And uh, every Friday at uh, 12 p.m. EST, we are going to have this uh, going on. We're gonna answer questions, talk about yoga, talk about spirituality, Hinduism, and uh, sincere seeking. So it's great, so you guys can go watch it out. And uh, we're also going to start tonight, uh, it's going to be on, airing on his channel as well and maybe other places but uh, we're not sure yet. But uh, after satsang that Swamiji gives um, here in the night, because I'm presently outside of India, um, we're, after satsang we're going to have a Jivarta Saras where uh, right now I think tonight we're going to be three and we're going to discuss about the spiritual cognitions, the powerful cognitions that Swamiji is expanding on during the satsang. So that's also going to be great. So look forward to that. Um, it's going to be amazing, give a lot of insights and show uh, the depth of, um, of the teachings and the, and the richness of Sanatana Hindu Dharma in terms of spirituality and experiencing God, experiencing the ultimate uh, Paramashiva, super consciousness, whatever you want to call it. So we call it Paramashiva. So yes, uh, so welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. So like I said, uh, right now outside of India for uh, some time, short period of time, uh, I'm hoping to go back in December. Uh, so for now, that's why I'm not wearing the normal robes, if you're wondering. So when we step out, um, in order to maintain the vows, the sanctity of the vows, Swamiji told us to um, not to wear the sacred robes because when you step out, um, you have to compromise on certain things, which is not good for the purity of the vows of sannyas, of the monk, of brahmacharis, for instance, touching money and all these things. And um, so for that reason, to keep these vows, uh, the authenticity of these vows alive, he said, you know, when you step out, you, um, you don't wear the robes there, you continue to practice. And then when you come back, wear the robes. So looking to go back very soon. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be great. Um, today's video, I wanted to share something that is pretty recent. Swamiji shared recently and uh, it really hit me. I was actually in the interview I was uh, doing with Drida um, on his channel, The Blissful Athlete. I was talking about, I shared at some point how it is important for me to understand and I feel having an understanding is very important to move forward. And then I think the night, the same night or the day after Swamiji was saying in the satsang that actually to have understanding, you need to have surrender because there is no way a mind can understand Paramashiva. Only Paramashiva can understand Paramashiva. It's like a turtle trying to understand how a human being functions. That's just not possible. So he was sharing, he shared the truth that surrender. When you surrender, you allow Paramashiva to enter. And when Paramashiva enters, he reveals the understanding to you and then you understand. So the first step, if you are actually interested in understanding, real complete understanding of the universe, the first step is surrendering, allowing Paramashiva to land, allowing the Guru's initiation to manifest in you. And uh, as they manifest, what I understood is um, your brain and your body gets rewired to the highest frequency. And when it gets rewired, especially the brain, when it gets rewired, it allows you to grasp the subtle uh, understandings of the universe so you can actually have complete understanding of how, uh, how it works and what, who is Paramashiva and what is life and basically enlightenment. <laughs> so, um, so surrendering is the first pass for understanding. So for me, that's a big thing. Um, so yeah, if you want to, if you want to have a deeper understanding, first step is surrender. Allow that intensity to enter into you, rewire your brain, your nervous system and everything, your grooves, 
so that you can grasp the more subtle um, see because Paramashiva does not function in the way our mind functions right the universe does not function in the way we think it functions the way we function with our minds our mind is so small compared to what the reality is so in order to experience that reality to shift out of that smallness and enter into this uh, or I would say get swallowed by this greatness Surrendering is the path. So that's a big thing for me and uh, hopefully for you as well. So surrendering is very important That's what I wanted to share in this video. So like I said um, videos are gonna come uh, I will be every day. It's gonna happen uh, Follow us on Drill. I'll put the link of the previous video uh, below as well. So tonight after the satsang um, here EST is going to make um, Is going to make I don't know, it depends how long the satsang is, but maybe midnight, we're gonna go live. And uh, yeah, for 30 minutes, an hour, so we're gonna talk, so stay tuned, follow us, have greater understanding. If you have questions, listening to these things will definitely help because we're gonna bring a lot of information about many things. So sometimes information out there is misleading. So if you want to have a better understanding for yourself, uh, check these videos out and uh, I'll see you guys soon, Nityananda. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda.